Something broke out, a kid got choked out, clothes were stoned, and a fucking fight broke out. Come on, come on, motherfucker. Can we just all get along so I can put pinkies on a chest like little Sean? Ken McClelland, I own Hamilton Gym. Uh, we are a 7,000 square foot training facility in Iowa. We uh, started in a garage eight years ago, uh, 1,000 square foot garage, and have grown uh, exponentially since then. Got it a strong man about going on five years ago now. Um, me and a buddy were looking for something to do after uh, after getting out of a couple other sports and said, this looks fun and challenging. It's a whole new whole new uh, enterprise so um, the gym is mainly we train everybody from soccer moms to national champion strongmen to uh, NFL football players it's a it's a nice mix it's an interesting mix and uh, yeah it's a great place to train good there you go I think the biggest thing about our gym is that it's I hate to use the term judgment-free environment, but it's not like you must be this strong to be here. As long as you are willing to come in and put in the work, we don't care what level you're at. You know, my 67-year-old mom trains here, and she trains right next to a national record holder, powerlifter, and he doesn't judge her for deadlifting 65 pounds and doesn't look down his nose at her because she puts in the work. Um, that's kind of our motto, like not our motto, but that's that's how we go here. Is if you are willing to put in the work, we're, we'll put the work into you, and nobody is going to judge you on the level you come in more as the amount of work you put in. So we have you know high school soccer players, you know females that show up that have never squatted before in their life, and they struggle with the bar the first day, and nobody points and nobody laughs. They they respect the fact that she's here working. Um, and that's something that I've been adamant about since day one because at one point. All of us picked up a barbell for the first time and looked like an idiot. And somebody had to teach us how to do it. And somebody had to push us to the next level and get us where we wanted to go. Good. There you go. There you go. Um, I'm Allison Speltz. I've been, this is the first year that I've actually competed in Strongman. I started in February. I started messing around with it in about last fall. Um, and so far it's been my favorite sport that I've actually tried. I came to the Anvil working for, towards bodybuilding. I started in figure, branched off into bodybuilding physique, um, kind of lost interest I guess. I mean I won my pro card and stuff and it was fun but got into powerlifting a little bit more and then was this strongman thing. So yeah, I had a lot of fun with it and it's been great. Since I started Strongman, 
the things that have stuck out to me, I've done a few different things, so no contest is ever the same. So it's a lot more fun. It's not like each day is going to be, you know, oh, I'm going to hit this pose or I'm going to, you know, squat as heavy as I can or whatever. It's so dynamic. And then the community is competitive, but at the same time, they're pretty welcoming. Everybody that I've come across is really friendly, you know, everybody's sharing tips and, you know, this is how you could alter your technique or, hey, that was awesome. You know, it's very supportive. Competitor ready. Take your grip. Go! Speed! Go! Right through it. There it is. Come on! Move, move, move! Come on, 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 come Coming from football and MMA into strongman, I was absolutely amazed at how friendly it is. How I showed up in my first strongman competition, and apparently I've been flipping tires wrong my whole life. <laughs> and in the warm ups, I had two of my competitors come up and coach me on how to do it. So I've been doing strongman now for five years. Um, you know, it, it, the one thing I've seen in the last five years is that, like, the women's the women's side has grown incredibly, and the lighter classes have grown. Like lightweight has grown incredibly. I don't know if that's people looking for something different from CrossFit or what, but like everything's getting heavier and heavier and heavier, and like the boundaries are getting pushed, which is cool to see, but it's, it's a little hard to keep up with sometimes, uh, especially at my age. I see the gym going in the next. Now that we're in a new facility, we got 7,000 square feet, um, big parking lot for events. We're holding. We're starting to hold open strongman days, similar to what um, I think it's North Carolina Barbell does, where they invite you know local athletes to come and try it out. We're starting to do that to try to grow the strongman community in the area. Um, we've got five trainers that work with me here. Um, we're all trying to you know provide a quality service, a personalized service, better than anybody else in the area. Um, one of the things that we really focus on is we understand that most people. Their, their lives kind of suck. And getting to the gym, it's the best part of their day. We want it to be the best part of their day. We want this place to be the best part of everybody's day. The one thing that really drew me into the Anvil when I started was this place is a family. Um, we've all known each other for a long time. And, um, you build a lot of great friendships in here. It's basically like the most judgment-free zone that I've ever come across. Um, what else? We have all the equipment that you need. Because <laughs> Ken's always coming up with new stuff that would like, oh, we're doing this contest? Okay, well, let's get that. Um, but yeah, I've, I've found a great team here working with the guys and gals who do Strongman and they're my people now. It's great. That was on the left there? Yeah. So, and then I think on your transition, so your transition, are you transitioning down? Switch it down the way down. Because it looks like you're trying to transition here and it fucks it up. I keep it here, but I fuck it up. Okay. I think that's why on your left arm, you're getting like you're here, right? You're like this. And then there's something here, and it's not as solid on your shoulder. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you can't really get it to the right spot. Yeah. 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 Just looking to get, if somebody came in and they were just looking to get into Strongman, like starting to try Strongman, which we have actually had quite a bit. Um, the first thing I say is, don't be afraid to fail. You're gonna fail a lot, um, and you know, don't wait to get into your first contest too long. You know, obviously, if you can't do any of the events, it's probably not a good idea. But don't be scared to go and try some stuff. And you know, we have we have quite a few novice competitors, and we always encourage them to go to as many novice competitions as they can. The more experience you get, the more hands-on implements you get, the more competition experience you get, the better better you are you know you're always looking to get stronger you're always looking to get faster but you know we we preach like competition you train much harder when you signed up for a competition uh, I think it was Wendler that said mail in the check and all of a sudden things get serious and that's what we do we try to get them to we set a goal down the road like hey there's this competition in six months this is what you're doing you know when they walk in the door they have an idea they have a goal 
they know when they're gonna they know when they're gonna compete and we it pushes them harder they're more likely to come in on days when they're tired or they've had a bad day or their dog pooped on their carpet or whatever they're not going to use it as an excuse they're going to come in and push themselves and i think mailing in the check is the best thing you can do when you decide to get into strongman like i said as long as you can do something when most events 